Welcome back. A new era for a structure that has stood through many of them. Yeah, an historic Stutz building. The one that you see here is reopening uh, this month after a multi-million dollar revamp. And when it's done, it's sure to be a public destination and a tourist attraction. This is a perfect place to display this boat. And it sat there for 100 years. It sat there hung up in this barn for 100 years. Wow. Tom Batista has a soft spot for history. It's part of the reason why he's bringing his brand to a piece of Indy's historic yellow brick roadster building known as the Stutz. And being from Indianapolis and, you know, knowing the Stutz history and the Stutz Bearcat and all that stuff, um, it was an easy decision to come into this building. His shop, Amelia's Bakery, the original in Indy's Fletcher Place neighborhood, is now one of several eateries setting up shop here as the Stutz transforms into a place more welcoming to the general public. And this is our uh, ice cream, you know, we'll have gelato that we, we make. The Stutz building went up in 1912, a factory to produce hundreds of Stutz race cars and automobiles each year, until Eli Lilly bought the place in 1940 to operate a paper packaging facility until 1982. Mid 60s to the late 60s, I actually worked in here when it was, uh, no, it was uh, creative packaging. Eli Lilly owned it. For Tom, opening a new location for his bakery chain is a return to the same place where he used to earn a paycheck. It's kind of cool to honor the Stutz motor car. Developer Samara Road is pouring $100 million into this renovation. New windows, entryways, elevators, and preserving the historic features. The public spaces will include an open-air coffee shop in this space, a taqueria, and a brew pub next door. The owners of Patichu will open a new breakfast lunch spot here, too. There's a classic car museum, office space, and it will preserve the studio space for dozens of artists, including Susan Brewer. I'm an abstract expressionist painter. I've been here 20 years. She's created many masterpieces over those two decades. She's been part of the Stutz Artists Association. We do First Fridays every month, and since now people have a place to eat and spend you know, the rest of the evening. Um, it'll be great for people gathering to meet friends here. She's stoked about this new era for the Stutz. It's fantastic. You know, just the footprint of the different businesses downstairs and, and just that buzz of, of something going on, you know. The renovated Stutz building officially opens to the public on Sunday, May 21st with a block party and open house. You can enjoy artists' studio tours, check out the new wedding and event space, and enjoy live music plus a car show. You can also wander through the courtyard. The open house runs from 12 to 6 p.m.